data is pretty fascinating. In fact, it's one of the most important assets we have. What's more, there's still huge potential for us to tap into. We collect data fundamentally across the car. Think of it as a myriad of sensors that are feeding us information on as much of the car as possible. Across our customers' operations, various data sets are being analyzed, and this is helping us understand industrial processes better than ever before. And it's key to digitalization. The knowledge we're gaining from data is enabling teams to take better decisions. When used properly, data can be literally the difference between third and first. Data makes the invisible visible. The ABB FIA, formerly World Championship, is ultimately a global platform to promote the benefits of electric mobility. In Formula E, we bring the cars in, we have to download the data, then we have to process the data, and we only have a certain number of people to analyze that data. It makes it a real pressure point in Formula E. You have to make the decision. You can be making changes on the fly. Just like in Formula E, we use sensor technology, intelligent automation, and data analytics to help engineers and managers in the control room to take better decisions. One of the new regulations for season seven is that we have operations rooms that will be operating during the races, uh, and that will allow us to look at data as if our engineers were here at the track. So we're reducing the people we're flying around the world fundamentally and allowing them to work remotely from our operation centers. Data is turned into action that, for example, improves productivity, efficiency, cost and quality, and also competitiveness. Only 20% of the data industry produces is being utilized. The judgment calls we make, there's very little gut feel. It really comes down to calculated decisions based on information we see, data we receive. We can use a variety of data, and we use it in different purposes comparing your optimum lap versus, for example, your last lap to try and see where you can improve. So we can compare one driver versus the other driver to help the other driver if they're slightly kind of slower in one corner to optimize performance. Whilst we're racing here to compete and win, behind it all is a really important purpose, and that's a more sustainable form of mobility. With automated operations, we're helping to keep people safe while enabling them to do much more also for the environment, increasing energy efficiency, decreasing waste, and also reducing overall environmental impact. The learnings gained here informally will have a real-world benefit. And taking the learnings from the racetrack and applying that to the benefit of our consumers to make the road cars that we produce even better. Not only from the performance, how fast these cars go, but importantly how efficient they are and overall how sustainable we can make mobility. The exciting thing is this is real today. Take for example a mine in Chile. Using the right data points and applying our automation technology and digital solutions, we've been able to help that mine reduce its emissions by 20%. Or another example is the city of Bangkok, where we've been able to help the city reduce its water losses by 10%. Data can make a world of difference. It empowers us to see the big picture and the necessary details to be able to act on it.